Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video, and this is once again not a normal video, this is just a quick little news video update with some very exciting news regarding the classic Nicktoon Rugrats. This news is like widespread news, it comes from a variety of sources, one of them being Variety, and it's news that Rugrats, the original, like the, one of the original Nicktoons is being revived with a series and a live action CGI movie in 2020. The series doesn't have a release date, but the movie does and it's coming in 2020. And the, the source I have right now is from Hollywood Reporter and it says the iconic series will return to Nick with 26 new episodes while Paramount Animation will bow a live action feature with CGI characters in November 2020. Um, I don't know how I feel about the live action um, part of this, but Rugrats being coming back in series form is very great news, and it's actually the first Nick revival project to be in series form, while all the other ones being Hey Arnold, Rocco's Modern Life, and Invader Zim are coming back in movies. Viacom is bringing Rugrats back to both the big and small screens. The media conglomerate, I can't read that word, I'm not even going to try, on Monday announced that it is reviving the children's television series for a 26 episode green light at cable network Nickelodeon as well as a new live action feature film featuring CGI characters for Paramount players. The TV series and movie will feature new adventures with the original characters, Tommy, Chucky, Phil, Lil, Susie, and Angelica, while introducing a new world of characters. So this does confirm that Dill and um, Kimmy aren't coming back, which I'm a little disappointed. They at they I know it was a turning point for Rugrats that basically a huge decline in quality but I've, I binge watched uh, All Grown Up a few months ago and I abs they absolutely did so well with those characters in All Grown Up it's a shame that they're not coming back especially Kimmy um, I, I tend to like Kimmy's character more than Dill because hers is fleshed out in All Grown Up of course not not Rugrats they were pointless in Rugrats I will, I will agree with that but it, it is a little disappointing how these characters aren't coming back hopefully they'll come back in some way but oh well Original creator Arlene Klasky, Gabe Orchupo, and Paul German will return for the Nickelodeon series as executive producers. Production on the new animated series is already underway in Burnback, with casting, a premiere date, and more to be announced in the coming months. So the animated series is just now in production, and we do know the original creators are coming back. This is a great trend that I love Nickelodeon is doing. Uh, like, unlike Cartoon Network and Disney, the original they have the original creators come back for these reboots, which is a great move on their part. The Rugrats feature will be penned by David Goodman and released by Paramount Players on November 13th, 2020. Paramount Players is a division of Viacom's Paramount Pictures that develops and co-produces co-branded feature films within the conglomerate, I can't read that word, por portfolio. Other Viacom brands getting the feature treatment from Paramount players are Dora the Explorer, with the show airing on Nickelodeon from 2000 to 2014, and Are You Afraid of the Dark, which also ran on Nickelodeon. All told, Rugrats is the seventh feature on the Paramount players' slate, joining Nobody's Fools, due out November 2nd, Eli, January 14th, 2019, What Men Want, January 11th, 2019, Dora, August 2nd, 2019, Body Cam, which release date is to be determined, and Are You Afraid of the Dark, which is coming out on October 11th, 2019. This is all great news, and I, as such, I'm so excited. I really am excited for this series, and I'm curious to see what they do with the with the modern Rugrats. I'm pretty sure smartphones are going to be integrated. I hope they do it lightly, though, like they did with Hey Arnold. Like, they're, the technology's there, but it's not all up in your face. The Rugrats revival arrives as the Kids Focus Cable Network finds itself in new territory after 30 year plus Viacom veteran Sema Zigarmi exited her post as president of the Nickelodeon group. She was a really bad president from what I hear, but we're not going to get too much into that because that, what, what can there be said? That hasn't already been said, is what I mean. Sarah Levi is running the brand in the interim, and as a replacement has not yet been determined. This means they haven't found a replacement. I'm sorry, I'm stuttering. I'm just so excited. 
Nickelodeon wants the promised land for youth program and has lost its perch as fellow cable networks Disney Channel and streaming outlets Netflix and Apple have entered the kids programming space, driving up the price and demand for content. To compete, Nickelodeon, like other high-end scripted destinations, is leaning in on reboots and spin-offs to compete and cut through the cluttered landscape. Rugrats joins the recently revived projects at Nickelodeon, including Double Dare, Blue's Clues, Rocco's Modern Life, Hey Arnold, and Invader Zim, and a potential reboot of Clarissa Explains It All with the original star Melissa Joan Hart. That actually sounds pretty cool. I, I forgot Blue's Clues was getting a series too. Well, the the I, I mean Nicktoon, not Nick Nick, Nick, Nick Junior shit. Okay, I mean Nicktoon. Okay, whatever. Rugrats is hands down one of the most celebrated cartoons in TV history, and we are th all thrilled for a whole new audience to meet these iconic characters and brand new adventures," said Levi, chief operating officer at Viacom Media Networks and interim president at Nickelodeon. What was true in 1991 when the original show premiered is still true today. Kids are fascinated with the world of babies. We can't wait for today's kids to meet Tommy, Chucky, and the pals. Rugrats originally ran for 19... 19, no, this ain't The Simpsons. Rugrats originally ran for 9 seasons and 172 episodes from 1991 to 2004, earning 4 daytime Emmys and 6 Kids' Choice Awards, among others, and launching a slate of consumer products. The success led to 3 feature films starting with 1998's The Rugrats Movie, followed by pa Rugrats in Paris The Movie in 2000 and Rugrats Go Wild in 2003. The films grossed $100 million, 76.5 5 million dollars and 39.4 million dollars respectively. Now feels like the ideal time to reintroduce this iconic cast of characters to a whole new generation of young fans, said Brian Robbins, president of Paramount Players. Kids who grew up with Tommy Pickles and the Rugrats crew will now be able to share that experience with their own children. Mining its library on both the film and TV side is part of a larger plan by Viacom CEO Bob Balkish to help re advise the media behemoth amid dwindling linear ratings and increased com com <laughs> increase competition. Viacom's push for stage ended with the underperformance of its SpongeBob SquarePants Broadway musical, which closed and lost money. The company's MP MTV recently unveiled MT MTV Studios, which will mine its library to reboot some of its iconic series for other outlets. So what does this all mean? This means it, it's actually pretty self-explanatory. Rugrats is coming back with a 26-episode season, and possible, possibly more depending on how well it does, uh, a disclosed date in the future, and it's also getting a live-action animation hybrid akin to like Alvin and the Chipmunks or the upcoming Sonic movie in 2020. Which, uh, considering Nickelodeon's history with the live-action hybrid animation genre in movies, uh, what really comes to mind is Monster Trucks and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles films. Um, it's not... It's I don't I don't know how to feel about that, but with the with the creators, the original creators of Rugrats on board for the series, I don't know if they're involved with the movie or not, but with them being involved with the series heavily, this implies that Rugrats is just gonna it's it's like it never left. They're probably going to integrate modern technology in it like they did with Hair Arnold the Jungle movie and Rocco's Modern Life Static Clean. But other than that, it's pretty much going to be Rugrats unless there's going to be net network interference or nostalgia like oversaturation or something like that. Saturation. It's not oversaturation. Satu whatever. Okay, whatever. What are your thoughts, though? I'm seriously excited for the series. Um, for the movie, I can't say, but considering that's the only thing that has a definitive release date, and we can tell it's been in development for quite a while, um, I don't know how to feel about the movie. But the series, I am overwhelmingly excited for. I might not sound it. I'm just losing a lot of sleep over my movie. Speaking of which, it's coming this Friday, so don't miss it. Anyway, that's going to be it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, take care.